use our thing onto the Phileos with the Zephyr. So basically what we get now is a guaranteed to kill the, the unit that survives our thing, right? And then hopefully we have enough time to, kill, to get to the Phileos because he's gonna be fighting this guy. Anyways, uh, this is so much explaining to do, hopefully like it's gonna work because we're gonna need to do it again. Very nice. Hello everybody, welcome back to another game of Teamfight Tactics, it's your boy Moshi Kir, I hope you're ready for some Teamfight Tactics action, and honestly I know I am, hopefully we can make a juicy juicy video, so uh, yeah, let's see what uh, the minions have uh, gave us, a juicy Nautilus. Okay, we got uh, money. Now, looking at things, we have uh, triple goblins, we have one sword. Based on this information, I am uh, taking out the Nautilus to the back. We'll see what we can buy with that. Let's buy LeBlanc Warwick and uh, see how we proceed from here. Okay, we, we have a lot of goblins. We can play goblins. I have five goblins compared to all the other things. Um, Covens. Don't have the leader. Let's uh, slam the champions in. And uh, we're gonna play one round from this point. See what we can get. Honestly, I am down to level and... Uh, see what we can get maybe there was something better i could have slammed but uh doesn't really matter this is the blue buff kha'zix uh, that's gonna be doing a lot of damage to us right about now or maybe not because these guys are adjusted right about now oh, we won. and leblanc is uh, stunning so maybe that's uh that's a dub wow oh, we won. juicy juicy man nice Okay, I'm, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I like the, the risk taker with the rage blade. Let's go, let's call it uh, already. And honestly, because we go for this route, I'm also gonna buy listen and um, set. And uh, let's, let's play it out. Let's see how it continues from here. Okay, this guy plays assassins with knights. Ay, ay, ay. We lost our big boy uh, to unfortunate event. Uh, this uh, Nocturne is looking scary. He slammed Infinity Edge and Hand of Justins on that. So we're gonna take two units loss here. We have the skirmishers. Set, set, set. Okay. Could be better shop, could be better. I'm down to pre-level and play this exact same board. I don't see any way I can improve that right about now. So, uh, yeah. Might as well just, uh, you know what? We, we can do that, I guess. I mean, that might be better. You cannot really know until the last moment of the fight, but so far, uh, I'm not a big fan of this team. Oh, baby, this, this Kalista Poppy actually did some work in this fight. I'm actually mega surprised. Two units loss, I take it. Not gonna give us priority, but it did save us some HP. So, right now we're gonna look for the last item for the thing we have started. So I am leaning towards a sword. 
I am leaning towards a glove. I am leaning towards a giant's belt. Shadow giant's belt, always my favorite item. When there is uh, nothing else I can take towards my final build. Because we're gonna need some supportive items, so might as well just get a giant's belt. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I should not have sold this one trundle right about now. I should not have sold that. Okay, let's make 10 and uh, hope we get a juicy lose. Honestly, this guy looks even weaker than us. But I don't know, it's all gonna depend on if Kalista can cast or she dies before that. Okay. Kalista get a juicy cast. We might uh, win this one right now. And if we win this one, yeah, we just won this one. That changes everything. Because the next fight is very important to be won. So hopefully we get some juicy thing in the shop. I'm already gonna collect the brawler duo. Um... Okay. And uh, this just happened. Skirmisher with uh, Jax. Not a big fan of Rage Blade, so I'm not gonna play it on the Jax. But um, set is probably really good because he shreds armor. And uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. And then I can probably sell these guys. And uh, yeah, let's let's enjoy the Jax. The early Jax is actually insane. The longer this fight goes, the harder Jax will hit. Um, okay. <laughs> this guy had a Death Blade uh, vein. And it's not the normal one. It's the chaotic Death Blade. So he actually made himself to get even more AD than the Jax. Which is kind of surprising. But uh, we, we take those. We take those. For every high roll, uh, know that your enemies will high roll as well, you know? Um, hum, 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 hum. We have the Rage Blade. That that might go to Needle or something like this. Uh, this is a juicy set. Hmm. So basically, to have the best. Uh, the best Jax you can get, you want to have a few things. Bows and healing. Oh, baby. I would slam uh, Ziggs, but I don't feel like Ziggs is the thing you need when you play Jax. Just because of... Um, just because he gets insane amount of attack speed based on the fact that he is Jaxed. Every time he uses his ultimate, he gets 30% stacking attack speed, which is equal to a Zix. So, I don't feel like playing a Zix on him is the smart move here. The only thing you want is like to give him a range so he can have access to his targets. Um, and then I can play Draconic and uh, start getting some uh, money free money sell this bad boy and uh, yeah let 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 Jax to carry us uh, to the promised land he's gonna be doing insane amount of work in those fights he's gonna get an uh, infinity amount of AD in the fight every second he get free more AD as you can see boom every time he casts his ability he's about to hit maximum attack speed this is why I don't like rage blade on Jax and uh, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Hitting this early Jax uh, definitely feels very satisfying. Okay. 
I'm down to take uh, our leverage and push it even harder. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's slam Eclipse Gate. I could go for a GA as well. GA the Jax. So if the fight doesn't go well, uh, he gets another chance. Or he gets bursted down. I'm gonna need to make a move about uh, this decision really, really soon. So I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's still getting AD based uh, even after once the fight ends. As you can see, 183. Crazy attack speed. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a Trandel 2 stars. That's a Udir 2 stars. Very yeah, nice. You know what? Let's, let's go for it. Let's make money and make a GA for the Jax. Let's guarantee our Jax safety. That way we can also frontline him. And uh, give him better access to units. Because 400 health is basically half of his HP, that's a lot. Send it, nice. Okay, the easy helps us uh, to not uh, fly away. Uh, nice. We made 30 gold, we are still getting those draconic eggs. Jax is starting to pop off and do what he was supposed to do. I didn't want to use the Shadow Bell just because the moment I hit Cannon, I want to give him a Shadow Morello. Um, I'm picking last, so my chances to get it are pretty low. Ay -ay -ay. And I probably want this bow. Yeah, I didn't think a bow will wait for me actually. So this bow might turn into an RFC or will turn into a Runans. Depends on what we hit. Both of them are completely fine. Both of them will give us infinity amount of uh, value and uh, yeah, uh, Ash combined very nicely. Oopsie. Let's uh, play the mord, get a uh, Dragon Slayer. That's another Trandel. Priestar Trandel is one of my favorite units because then he like steals. Uh, right now he's stealing only 46% of uh, the correct target health. But uh, when you have four Dragon Slayer, he just one shots units, you know. So like uh, a lot of those crazy, crazy units are don't even matter. Okay, nice. We kill the Morgana before she casts. And there you go. This is the moment that... Uh, GA Jax shines. Unfortunately, uh, not enough to win this fight, but he did have two lives. Could have been different. Unfortunately, not enough. Ay, ay, ay. That's a Draconic. That's a Dragon Slayer. I could make set two right now, but then I have a lot of pressure on the front line. Mord is doing really, really well. And this set is expensive. Honestly, maybe the Ash is very expensive as well. But she's not gonna do much difference. The attack speed on, uh, on Jax might do a little bit better. And then I can make money by... Okay, I, I, ca I cannot make money. I am missing one thing. I am missing one play to make it. No Trandel. The problem with Trandel is if he casts his ability, 
on a low HP target, he basically does nothing. If the, if the game designers manage to fix that, then we are actually hard chilling. And um, this egg might be an Heimerdinger. I feel like there is a chance this egg is a hidden Heimerdinger. So next round I'm gonna level up and like, if it is, I wanna have set two stars because I have all the draconic units. And it's gonna only cost me two gold. One gold. Okay, give me the needlessly large road, please. More. <laughs> More giant's belt. Uh, nice. Oh, baby, this is a lot of trundles. Okay, let's uh, send it and see what we can find. I'm down to go a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Th that was a little bit, right? Uh, let's uh, give Warmog to the only guy who utilizes health like a god. AKA Mordekaiser. And this early Viego is gonna be so fun. You know, I thought I am the lucky guy, but then this guy has an Eimerdinger, 5 Draconic. So, uh, whenever you feel lucky, remember that uh, other players might as well be just as lucky. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we are not really having a big party right now. This guy is uh, in a way better condition. Like, but we, we also have infrastructure for uh, 5 Draconic, so that's fine. We'll see, we'll see who gets it first. Because he's missing the Udir, and it's kind of hard to hit the Udir at this point. Uh, I could go for RFC, or I could go for the Shadow Morello. Let's go for the RFC, let's go with the safe play. Okay, Zyra 2 stars. And give RFC to Jax. And uh, yeah, I think now we just stabilize with this board. Have four skirmishers. We can slam six any moment we want. But I feel like we don't need to because we are mega strong. Okay. Looking good. Jax is uh, doing his thing. Always has a uh, backline access if he has enough mana. Whoop, nice. I love Jax. One of the better carry units in my opinion by far. Uh, let's see what we get, Udir. Um, hom hom. Do I want to transfer the RFC to somebody else? This is the question. Probably yes, yes. It's time to tell Udir bye bye and let's give it to Mord. In... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's good. It's good on Mord because he's gonna be uh, getting a lot of value from his shield and basic attacks that deal enormous amount. So Rageblade is pretty much the, the best call right here, I'm pretty sure. Still the HP, Mr. Big uh, Boy. Nice. We still the Lux. It's gonna provide us with shields. Nice. And then we still hacker him with uh, the healing item. Okay, that's not gonna be enough though. And uh, I'm pretty sure Jax can beat because he has way more AD than Draven. Yeah, at this point of the game at least. In the start of the fight, that would never work, but in the end, always. Jax will win. Okay. Uh, we need uh, Darius. Darius is amazing for skirmishers because he provides uh, Last Whisper armor pen for the team. Unfortunately, it's not going to be happening right now. Let's see what... Oh, if I can get this Strandel, I actually... I, I wouldn't mind. That's a 3-star Strandel right here. And then we can itemize this bad boy. 
Honestly, I'm down to itemize uh, with all of the items we have. Juicy, juicy Aphelios. We have juicy Aphelios items. We could pivot, but uh, honestly, I'm down to hold it just to reduce the Aphelios in the lobby. Because we are so much ahead that there is no reason not to do so. And... Ay, 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 ay. Let's give Trandel the ability to hit uh, two units in the same time. Okay. Trandel is going to be help able to help us kill uh, a unit right now. I think. Or not. What? Wait, what? We got destroyed by... Three stars Lissandra. Classic, classic. <laughs> Lissandra in a very good uh, condition. Okay, um, if that's the case, we're gonna need mystical units. We're gonna need a lot of support. Okay, that's a cannon. That's a cannon. Okay, let's let's get uh, the strongest version of our team, make money on the other units, and call it a day. Well, because he's uh, making a uh, number on us right now. Okay, Oof. Randall is uh, putting the work with one item, I love it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, uh, th this is what I meant. Trandel one-shots everything. When you have four uh, Dragon Slayers, this is why I had to pivot. It's so fun. Like, if he targets you, you're basically dead. This is how Trandel works. And when at three stars with four Dragon Slayers. If he gets 70 mana, he one-shots everything. Um, hum, hum, hum. Holding those Aphelioses will do very healthy stuff for the lobby. If I go level 9, ay, ay, ay. But then I need to think about uh, Mystics. We need Mystics in order to win this game. And Nidali almost never comes in. AoE stun, Nightbringer shield, and AoE attack, attack speed slow. Um, hum, hum, hum. Turbulent Zephyr. Let's cancel out something. I don't know, I gambled. Oh, wow, I got it, Darius. That's what, that was really juicy. To not have the Darius for 8 seconds, that's insane. But uh, I need my units to be able to play the game right about now. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good, we just lost a bunch of HP to this guy. How many units? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <clears throat> that's not good. We cancelled out the Darius and even after that we still lost the fight. This is the problem with uh, stacked units, stacked uh, teams. Okay, nice. Big money. This is why we're gonna have to level up to play the Darius so we have some penetration. Seventy-two. I could do this right about now. I have also everything one star. Let's uh, look for some upgrades and only then uh, consider this uh, play to level up. I might uh, drop one Aphelios. Sleeping Jimmy has one, and he's the only Aphelios player. Okay, this guy has two stars. 
So basically I'm holding the affiliates just because of one guy. I see, I see. Oh no, Jugs, don't die to the Mordekaiser. No. Okay, Randall is popping off. And this is the other Aphelios player, but he doesn't have items. Let's sell one Aphelios, it's time. It's too expensive to hold, because we are so close to many upgrades, and I need every single gold I can get. Because by the moment we put in Darius, we're gonna be so strong, it's gonna be insane. And also we need Jax. Let's uh, stack Trandel. I'm down to go all the way to 30 just to see if I can hit one more uh, Jax or Aphelios. Okay. There you go. We, we, we have uh, spent our money well. Spent our money really, really well. Unfortunately, I didn't... Uh, Use, utilize my Zephyr and uh, yeah and this is another problem we have that our units are like in a clump and this karma might do the uh, might do us some uh, crazy damage but uh, maybe Jax can uh, out uh, DPS the, the damage he gets right now he seems uh, really strong Oh no! Okay. <laughs> that is fine, that is fine. We need excess. You know what will be insane? If we actually like have two Zephyrs. But the, the long Zephyrs. Because the, the longer we buy, the, long, the more time we buy, the stronger we get. Wait, Morello is also insane, because that's going to give Ken an insane amount of damage, and then we will have an extra carry. I'm down to give it to Ken. Let's, let's give Morello to Ken, and that's always... Uh, I almost always forget to do that in late game. Um, okay. And now, because everybody is like uh, protecting their carries with a wall, with a wall, I'm down to actually backline everything and play from this point. Okay, everybody has their carry in the corner. Uh, this guy, no problem. And the reason I uh, zephyr the karma and I went on the other one is because uh, there were so many plays in like in this lobby that uh, I thought maybe like this this can work out well. I, apparently, it didn't. I had a plan in mind. I didn't. It, it was supposed to look differently. That was supposed to look differently. This fight uh, definitely didn't go uh, as planned. Okay. Can I even play this uh, Darius after griefing my economy so hard? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have the money. I'm by six too, probably. Ay, ay, ay. Just play this guy. Okay, okay. The play is a little bit different. Um, I need to Zephyr Syndra in order to get. Oh no! We Zephyr the Zephyr. Okay. Uh, so apparently everybody Zephyrs the Syndra. That's like uh, the new meta. New meta. Okay, we're stealing some juicy units. Uh, yeah, but we, we cannot handle the Aphelios. This is the problem. Ay, ay, ay. This Aphelios also has like a GA, so basically like... Impossible to kill. We're gonna need to be smarter than that. I'm gonna play around with my uh, positioning. Don't want to discover everything. And probably wanna get everybody back to their positions. Home, home. Okay, we just played uh, 
flipping Jimmy and everybody pl else plays AP comp. So maybe the play is drop three skirmishers. No, 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 that's a lot of shields that I'm gonna lose. Wow, we are. Wow, wow, we are. Okay, we're gonna play the Velkos player, and this player shouldn't be too hard. Let's Zephyr the Syndra just so nobody stops our, uh, our units. Oh no. Randall, you got me? Nice. Randall one-shotting that uh, Velkos was really, really good. Okay, seems like it's top four. But the real problem still persists. Winning one round means nothing. Winning the game is more important. Now we can play the Darius, get like some penetration. I assume we're gonna play this bad boy because we haven't faced him for a very long time. And I feel like the way to beat him is very simple. It's actually uh, half Drandel. Uh, tanking everything, have everything in the back line. And like, we one shot the Vlad with the Trandel, cause uh, Trandel does true damage. And uh, the enemy will ramp his mana, right? Okay, and now we get like, potentially something that can help us win the game. Nice, I like it. We, okay, we won that, we won that one. It's a top two, it's a top two, if not a uh, top one. We can win, we can win. It's all about positioning, guys. If you, if you like, uh, read your opponents well, you can win with positioning. Okay, so all he's left is Sleeping Jimmy. Uh, we did everything in our power to not let him have this Aphelios, but now that he does have it... Um, oh, no. Okay, doesn't really matter. Uh, I think the way to beat this guy is somehow get um, Aphelios to kill to kill Aphelios. That's gonna be the play. Okay. And we're gonna um, use our thing onto the Aphelios with the Zephyr. So basically what we get now is a guaranteed to kill the, the unit that survives our thing, right? And then... Hopefully we have enough time to ki to get to the Aphelios, because he's gonna be fighting this guy. Anyways, ah, this is so much explaining to do. Hopefully, like, it's gonna work, because we're gonna need to do it again. Like, this play is... is hard, but we're gonna need to do it again, and this time he will be much more prepared, because he knows that we know, okay? Uh, the best play would be definitely getting the Zephyr, as many Zephyrs as possible. Uh, he's gonna take the GA to put it on Kindred, if he has any sense. But we, we don't really care, because our plan st stays the same. Our plan stays the same. Okay, I even have a better plan right now. We're going to one-shot the Darius using the Trandel. And I'm gonna Zephyr uh, all of his front line. He's gonna try to get Randall using that. But uh, we don't care. We just want to take out uh, Frontline. Let's take Morgana. Oh, we took Mordekaiser instead? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Diana is uh, positioned perfectly. That's gonna be a good start into the fight. Randall is gonna kill the big Darius. No, we, we lost this one. That was a good game. Nice try, nice try. He had the upper end, GG. He had the upper end. He, he needed to move like few units. We needed to move billions of units in order to win. GG, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. There are going to be much more. And uh, see you in the live. Peace, peace, peace.